listening to an episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast hosted by Reese Chanson. Hello and uh, welcome to yet another episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast. I'm your host Reese Chanson and today we're looking at um, Fatal Seduction, uh, a, a Netflix series that has about seven parts. Uh, 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 to my understanding, a uh, second season is coming out uh, August 4th, so for you show lovers, uh, check it out. Uh, anyway, uh, the show pertains a few things that uh, I have issues with the writing, but overall, I don't know, pretty entertaining, I guess. Uh, the, f- the show follows uh, a few characters. Uh, Nandi, who, who plays the lead protagonist. Uh, Nandi is a character who's a, a college professor. She's a, she's, she teaches law and she happens to be married to this guy who, who's a, what's this guy's name? Um, hold on a sec. Uh, Leonard, sorry, sorry for that. Okay, uh, Nandi is married to this guy called Leonard who was a former judge, now owns a law company of some sort. Uh, and uh, to make things worse, um, uh, Leonard's brother Vuyo used to be a lover of Nandi back in the day. Now, I'm gonna be blunt. Vuyo used to fuck Nandi, and Leonard married married Nandi, and they had a daughter uh, who's Zinthi. Right? They had a daughter who's Zinthi. Uh, now I don't know if there's an issue with the paternity issue or not, but maybe there is. All I know is uh, Nandi is for the streets. Nandi uh, ends up fucking this guy called Jacob. This fellow Jacob happens to be a student of Nandi and he happens to be uh, the son of uh, uh, a guy who who ended up killing himself because he was found uh, guilty for a variety of crimes. Now, and now this guy who murdered himself because he was innocent that's what it seems to be the case happens to be Jacob's father so he murders himself and uh, the whole turmoil thing makes Jacob's mother lose her fucking mind and there's even scenes where this lady tried to tries to bloody hell uh, drown Jacob as an infant which is crazy so that's an interesting aspect to me anyway anyway uh so as I was saying, uh, Nandi is uh, letting this nigga call Jacob slap them cheeks. Man, this nigga is fucking the shit out of her. Like, really fucking the shit out of her. Like, a lot of fucking scenes where dick is being put into somebody. Like, dude, and there are even scenes where uh, this Nandi character is like telling a friend of hers, Brenda, who gets up, who ends up getting killed as the show progresses. Uh, that this young man is fucking the shit out of me. Now, this is a whole tri- love triangle. Now, if you don't know this, uh, Jacob's father, uh, uh, the judge who happened to preside over the case that sort of made him guilty, happens to be Leonard. Now, to make matters worse, uh, it happens that Leonard did a few malpractice issues with the case. He sort of uh, coerced or made a Brenda who was witness to some of the things that uh, this uh, father of Jacob did the crime or did the deed and uh, basically bang a false witness. Now, at first I was like, why the fuck is a judge involved with the prosecution in terms of getting a guilty uh, plead or getting someone convicted? Is it, shouldn't he be partial? Shouldn't he be like the last hope of reason like be there and you know but that's not the case what's happened here is it's been completely astonishing that that what happened is that i have no idea how a judge is involved in this which makes me think that season two will hold more homage to it now brenda gets murdered i don't know whether she kills herself or this jacob guy kills her or Leonard kills her or she commits suicide because she dies in her bath with a belt on her wrist and she cuts her wrists and dies. 
Now, towards the end of the show, uh, around episode 7 or 6, it seems like Vuyo is tracking down who did it. And I don't want to spoil this. As I fucking spoiled it anyway. So, what I'm trying to get here is... Vuyo's trying to discover who... What happened to Brenda? Did this Jacob dude kill her or not? Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. That's that's a different story. But what I gather here is... Vuyo is a horrible cop. Like, there's a scene where this guy's like... You killed Brenda, so I'm gonna kill you. So, he does what everybody does. He kidnaps the dude, puts him in his boot, takes him to a warehouse, chokes the shit out of him, uh, tortures him, chokes him, beats the crap out of him, and uh, logically you think he's gonna kill him. He doesn't fucking kill him. He puts him in a body bag in the middle of the forest, and he leaves them. And somehow, this guy lives. This guy was drowned. He passed out, fine. This guy was choked. Like, nigga had um, jump on, jump, jumper cables. Like, choking the motherfucker. Trying to get, did you kill Brenda type of vibe. And ultimately, he gets nothing. So he kills him. Or he thinks he kills him. And fuck it. Let's just pretend this real guy killed him. Like, that has to be the worst way to dispose of evidence as a cop. I'm saying, you're a cop. You know how you do this. Why would you put him in a body bag? A police state body bag for that fucking matter. And not bury the body. Doesn't make no fucking sense. At all. And Nandi is a fucking hoe, fam. She is for the streets. But... The, the scenes were crap. Like the sex scenes she was doing with this Leonard fellow. Like she was literally standing on, sitting on the man's stomach. And she's supposed to be riding the shit out of him. But whatever. Let's pretend she was actually doing a fucking decent job. She was riding the shit out of him and she did a good job. A lot of great sex scenes. I will say. The show does have a lot of great sex scenes. A lot of nudity is out there. You will see a few butt cheeks. So... Don't watch this shit with your kids. And if your kids happen to be watched it before you, you fucked, my dude. You fucked. And I think I should put this show to more PG level. So I do not, like, literally expose every goddamn aspect of it. But I will say that the show is pretty boring. It's got a lot of ridiculousness into it. But am I going to watch the second season? you damn right I'm going to watch it. <laughs> not going to watch it because of enthusiasm or great it is. No, I'm going to watch it because it's fucking stupid. Like, a lot of stupid factors in this. And I'd like to put my eyes onto it and see what, what happens to it. Yeah. Anyway, this review is probably the worst take I've done in a while. Because I've got a camera now and I'm recording myself. So it's very weird recording and looking at the screen, looking at myself... Judging if I actually look good, the lighting is good, and that type of shit. So, it's going to be a rough couple of days putting this shit together. A uh, rough couple of weeks. Because I'm when we start recording uh, this type of shit. So, that means that my YouTube channel is about to be up or down. I don't know. And this was basically a fucking trial run. <laughs> and I literally butchered this episode. So, I, I am sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> Anyway, uh, like the page, uh, share, and uh, this is the worst take ever. Like, really horrible.